So the problem most AI consistent characters have is that they look amazing, but when they start talking, it ruins the character. When in the lip sync, the mouth movements are off, the timing feels robotic, and your audience can tell something's wrong within seconds. This destroys the quality of your consistent character and makes your content feel cheap. My favorite sports is baseball. I want to become a baseball player when I grow up. But if you lip sync your consistent character correctly, your results will look amazing. Look at this example. I am so happy. Today I will finally get the dragon scroll and learn all the secret of kung fu. I am Ben an AI model that can help you to avoid attending boring meetings. Hi friends, it's a beautiful evening. Let's go to the park and play some sports together. Today I'm showing you the exact workflow that fixes all of this. We're going to create consistent characters that lip sync naturally with proper mouth shapes, perfect timing and high quality production. You will get a repeatable system that will work across any character, any scene, any video and maintains all the quality standards like this example. We're going to build three different character types from scratch, a 3D animated character, a photorealistic human and a stylized animated character. Now each present unique challenges and I'll show you exactly how to handle the technical requirements for each type. I'm opening Design AI and going to the Character tab. If you want to use Design AI yourself, then you can find the link in the description. Before we start building, you need to understand why character architecture matters for the lip sync success. The AI needs clear, well-defined facial features to track mouth movements accurately. And here's what kills most lip sync attempts. Blurry faces, complex lighting that creates harsh shadows across the mouth area, unclear jaw lines, or characters with their mouths already open in the base image. These issues will compound during lip sync, creating unnatural or jerky movements. The solution is building characters specifically for lip sync from the ground up. This means prioritizing facial clarity over artistic complexity in your initial prompts. So let's build our first character, an animated character named James. So I'm going to click on build character and then go to quick mode. Here's the prompt I'm using, animated boy character in his late teens, Disney Pixar 3D animated style, casual clothing, clear facial features for lip sync compatibility, natural lightning, colorful gradient background. Now I'll break down why each part of this matters for the lip sync success because Disney Pixar 3D animation style gives us bold expressive features that read clearly when animated. Subtle features get lost in mouth movement. Clear facial features for lip sync compatibility is crucial. It tells the AI to prioritize defined mouth and jaw areas over artistic stylization. Now the natural lightning prevents harsh shadows that interfere with facial recognition in the algorithm. Many people use dramatic lighting for visual appeal but it creates tracking problems later. And the colorful gradient background keeps focus on the character without distracting elements that can confuse face detection. So let's look at these results. I'm choosing this one because the facial proportions are ideal for the lip sync. The mouth movement is clearly defined with good contrast against the skin. The jawline is distinct and the overall expressions are neutral. And there's what we're actually building the character. I will choose to upscale it to four times the resolution. This step is absolutely critical and you shouldn't skip it because higher resolution images gives the lip sync algorithm exponentially more detail to work with. Talking about the difference between 256 x 256 pixels for mouth tracking versus 1024 x 1024 pixels. The upscaling process uses AI enhancement to add detail that wasn't visible at lower resolution, subtle lip texture, skin detail around the mouth, and cleaner edge definition between facial features. The lip sync algorithm uses these details to create smoother, more natural mouth movement. Now for a second character, we're going to create a realistic character named Ben. And for realistic characters, the approach changes completely. So I'm switching to promo because realistic characters need more sophisticated traits training to maintain human proportions and subtle features. So I'm uploading my stock footage of a young professional man and the source material selection is crucial here. You need clear facial features, even lining across the phrase and a neutral expression. So I'm going to click start training and this teaches the AI to understand the subtle variations in human facial structure. The AI is analyzing facial landmarks, the corners of the mouth, the lips, the jawline definition and how these features relate to each other. Without proper training, your realistic character will have subtle proportion shifts between scenes. The mouth might slightly wider in one scene, the jaw slightly different in another. These micro inconsistency break eventually the illusion of reality even if viewers can't consciously identify what's wrong. So the training is complete and I'm now going to click on use inconsistent character and I'm going to generate it with this prompt sitting on chair in office natural lighting and front view. I'm also setting the generation mode to HQ. This is non-negotiable for realistic characters. Standard mode uses simplified rendering that loses the subtle details realistic characters actually need. And HQ mode preserves skin texture, subtle facial asymmetries and micro 
expressions that make characters believable. The results show a professional looking character in an office setting and you can notice how the facial features are sharp and well defined even in this specific environment. And before downloading it make sure to upscale it to 4x and then we're going to create our third character which is a stylized character looking like Kung Fu Panda. Back to the quick mode for this and I'm naming this Dragon Warrior with the prompt Kung Fu Panda 3D animation style standing straight natural lightning clear facial features high quality resolution. So for stylized characters you want something different. You want exaggerated but consistent features. The bold shapes actually make the lip sync easier because the mouth movers are more pronounced and easier for the algorithm to track. Stylized characters give you the most flexibility for emotional expression because viewers expect exaggerated features and movements. I'm selecting this result because the facial features are bold and expressive while maintaining clear definition. The mouth area is prominent enough for good sync tracking and the overall style is distinctive. So I'm starting to build the character and then using the use inconsistent character to generate a scene. For the scene, I'm going to use the prompt bamboo forest in the background, natural lightning front view. This gives us the context while keeping the character prominent. The bamboo forest adds authenticity to the Kung Fu Panda aesthetic without overwhelming the character design. And again, upscaling it to 4x. So now I have three base characters, each optimized for their specific style requirements and built with lip sync success in mind. Now to prove and showcase, we're going to create multiple scenes for each character so that it becomes a consistent character with different scenes. This is the way where we prove the system works reliable because we want to avoid that characters look differently in every video. So for both James and the Dragon Warrior, I need to expand their available angles first. This is a professional technique that most tutorials skip, but it's crucial for the character consistency. So I'm going to the AI video tab, uploading James image with the prompt, slowly turn around from left to right and I'm going to use the Kling 2.1 model. This turnable video gives me multiple angles from James from different perspectives. Here's why that matters, because when you only have one angle of a character, the AI has to guess how they look from other perspectives. This guessing creates inconsistencies, and so with multiple angles, the AI learns the actual 3D structure of your character's face. So I'm downloading the video, then using a video to JPG converter to extract individual frames. And I'm selecting the best shots that have the most clear facial features, the good lighting, and a consistent character proportions and I'm avoiding the frames where the character is mid rotation and features are blurred. With that we're going back to the character tab to build your character, uploading these best shots for retraining and then this process expands the AI's understanding of how James looks from multiple angles giving me more pose options while maintaining perfect consistency. And of course I'm doing the same process for the Dragon Warrior. The turnable technique works especially well for stylized characters because their bold features remain recognizable from any angle. Now, now for Ben is different, we're going to create scene 2 which has the prompt sitting in an outdoor cafe, city street in the background, natural lightning, clear weather, high quality resolution. And I'm using the HQ generation mode, this ensures that the character maintains realistic proportions and skin textures across different environments. Now the outdoor lightning test is crucial because it proves the character can handle various lightning conditions while staying consistent. And for scene 3, sitting on a sofa in a living room, looking towards right, happy facial expressions, natural lightning. This prompt will test the emotional expressions while maintaining consistency. The happy facial expressions instruction proves the character can show different emotions while keeping the same underlying facial structure. Now let's get back to James because he has been retrained and we're now ready to create scene number two, which has the prompt standing on the left side of the image, college campus in the background, HQ mode to make this the best quality possible. And then we have the campus setting test, how James adapts to different environments while maintaining his Disney picture aesthetic. By specific character position in the prompt, I'm ensuring the character remains the focal point while adding environmental context. Now for his third scene, we use walking on the sidewalk, waving his hand to say hi to his friend, street lights in the background, houses in the background. This is a dynamic pose test. The waving action and the walking stance prove the character can handle movement based scenes while maintaining facial consistency. Animated characters can handle more dynamic poses because viewers expect stylized movement. And then for the Dragon Warrior, we're using this prompt for scene two. Standing on the left side of the image, Chinese temple in the background, mountain in the background. The temple and mountain setting reinforces the Kung Fu Panda aesthetic while testing environmental consistency. The detailed background elements prove the character can hold focus in complex scenes. And for his third scene, we're going to use Chinese noodle stall in the background, old China, 
old Chinatown street and a happy face. This scene tests both environmental complexity and emotional expression. The noodle stall setting is culturally specific and detailed, while the happy face instruction tests emotional range within the character's style. Now we have all the scenes for them together, and each character still maintains the perfect consistency. This is the consistency what separates professional character work from amateur attempts. But now comes the critical transformation, turning the aesthetic characters into naturally speaking ones. And for this, voice generation and lip sync work together as one integrated process. Because now we really want to make sure that these characters are going to talk naturally instead of looking robotic. So I'm using DubDub AI for all the voiceovers because it has the best precision control needed for natural lip sync. It provides timing control, pronunciation adjustment, and quality settings that directly impact sync accuracy. Besides that, it has the highest natural quality of AI voiceovers and so many different voices to choose from. Also from the technical side, lip sync algorithms analyze audio waveforms to determine mouth positions. Higher quality audio with better frequency response gives the algorithm more precise data to work with. DubDub has an ultra quality feature and this gives more than double the audio data compared to other tools. And so let me generate all the voices before we move towards the lip sync so you can see how voice selection differs for each character type. And so we're starting with James' introduction. Hi folks, I'm James, an AI character generated using a single prompt in Design AI. Hard to believe, right? We're setting the quality to ultra as I said is non-negotiable and we're checking which voice works best. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. Voice number one sounds too mature for James' youthful appearance. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. Voice number two lacks energy. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. She was known for her kindness and love for animals. Voice number three has that youthful, enthusiastic quality matching James' Disney Pixar aesthetic. I'll pick that one for him. Hi folks, I am James, an AI character generated using a single prompt in Zine AI. Animated characters need clear articulation and energy matching their expressive features. Features. I'm listening for consonant clarity. Animated characters need crisp P, B, and M sounds because their bold features emphasize these movements. And so since I have that now, I'm going to download this voiceover. Now for Ben's office scene, I'm using this Hi guys, I'm Ben, an AI model that can help you to avoid attending boring meetings. No one would be able to guess that they're talking to an AI model and not a real person. Again, setting the quality to ultra, the gender to man, and voice three has confident professional tone. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. Real Realistic characters need subtle natural delivery and any overacting breaks the illusion, right? So here's the key. Adding a 150 millisecond pause after hey guys will help a lot because real humans naturally pause after greetings too. This micro detail makes Ben sound conversational rather than scripted. So let's download that as well. Now for the dragon warrior scene, I'm going to use the prompt I'm the dragon warrior and master chief who has sent me to train you to become an AI expert. Now for this one, I'm going to click animation videos for character specific voices, selecting panda warrior voice and I'm looking for something that's going to match the style. Skadoosh! Time to unleash the power of the Dragon Warrior! So I'm going to choose this one and now I have all three voiceovers ready, each optimized for their specific character type. Now if you want to use DubDub yourself, you can find the link in my description down below. So now we're going to design AI's lip sync tab using the pro mode for all characters because pro mode provides better facial recognition and more precise mouth tracking. I'm uploading James' upskilled image first and now I'm selecting his face. The selection should include the entire mouth area and jaw Life. Poor face selection is the number one cause of unnatural lip sync problems. So I'm uploading James' voiceover as well. And now watch for mouth closure timing. The lips should close exactly when the consonants occur. Generating now and the results show natural mouth shapes matching the energetic delivery. Hi folks, I am James, an AI character generated using a single prompt in Zine AI. Hard to believe, right? Now for Ben, we have the same technical process, but different quality standards. So we're uploading Ben's image and we're selecting the face with extra precision. Realistic characters need perfect face selection because errors show as unnatural movements. So with uploading Ben's voiceover, that 150 millisecond pause should appear as natural rhythm, not awkward gaps. I am Ben, an AI model that can help you to avoid attending boring meetings. Realistic characters require precise mouth closure and subtle movements matching human speech mechanics. So let's generate the sync. I am Ben, an AI model that can help you to avoid attending boring meetings. Notice how the mouth movements are much more subtle compared to James. This matches real human speech patterns. So now for the Dragon Warrior, 
warrior, we're uploading that upscaled image and we're selecting the face. We're uploading the voiceover and we're going to start generating the lip sync. I am the dragon warrior and Master Shifu has sent me to train you to become an AI expert. Now I'm not going to completely showcase the lip sync for all the other scenes. So here are all nine final results played together. Hi folks, I am James, an AI character generated using a single prompt in Zine AI. Good morning and welcome to our college. I am excited to give you the tour of this place. Hi friends, it's a beautiful evening. Let's go to the park and play some sports together. I am Ben, an AI model that can help you to avoid attending boring meetings. I am an AI vlogger and today we are in a nice open cafe in a beautiful city. The weather is beautiful today. Let's go outside and have some coffee. I know a really good cafe. I am the Dragon Warrior and Master Shifu has sent me to train you to become an AI expert. I am so happy. Today I will finally get the Dragon Scroll and learn all the secret of Kung Fu. This is my dad's shop and today we are going to eat his super special saucy noodles. And the reason these results look natural is the fact that we're matching every technical choice to the character's visual style, focus on the lip syncing process. Now your final video with professional lip sync should have consistent mouth closure timing, natural jaw movement, and no audio visual lag. If movements look delayed, check audio quality first. If shapes look wrong, adjust face selection. And if your timing feels robotic, then add natural pauses. Now another advanced tip, if a specific phrase looks wrong, regenerate just that section with a short audio clip and then comp aside the results. Now that's your complete system for creating consistent characters that speak naturally across any context. Master this workflow and you'll have characters that not only speak naturally, but maintain their identity across any scenario you can imagine. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.